just received a very exciting package. I'm gonna open it up. Should I do that? No? No? Okay, I'll just go gently. What's in here is very sensitive. Yep, it's what I was looking for. All right, I gotta go out now, but eventually I'll tell you what's in here. Alright, I'll tell you what's in here. I'm going to be installing this soon, maybe tomorrow. Here are the instructions. I don't need these. This is what I need. I don't need this. This is where I'm, what I'm very excited about. Extremely excited because this changes everything. With this thing, I don't have, to, well, let me just show you what it is. It's a Jaffa, Jaffa Tech. Okay, if you don't know what a Jaffa Tech is, and if you didn't read that Wi-Fi repeater. Sorry. Anyway, with this thing, and I'm not certain how I am going to install this, this is the 12 volt um, plug in, so I can plug it to my 12 volt. And this is the antenna. I guess this extends, maybe not. Wait a minute. Okay. So maybe it goes this one. Uh, I have to, okay, it's this one. It's, um, oh, I guess this comes out. Anyway, this can go on the roof of my van. This is the receiver that goes inside the van. And this is a 15 foot cable. I could have gotten a bigger one, but I chose a 15 foot. And basically, once I have all this working, and I'm not even certain that if I'm gonna put the antenna on top of the roof or not on on uh, probably on the roof rack it does come with this bracket and this comes right off like this so you, you can attach this bracket to a pole or to something that's vertical it has to be vertical and then you just slide the antenna right in here and then there's that little hole in there and you can put a zip tie or a velcro thing through there so that this doesn't come out when you're driving they do recommend that you do not leave this outside because birds or, or or branches can damage the antenna so they do recommend that whenever you're not using it take it out and bring it inside another thing that they recommend is that this wire, if you put this wire through the roof, which I can look by looking at it, I can see that this would be hard to accomplish because, I'll tell you in a second, I would have to make the hole in my roof, not only the size of this cable, but I would have to make it the size of that connector which would not be impossible if I want to. So if you want to put one of these antennas on your roof, you make the hole big enough so that that thing goes through. Did I mention what this is for? Well, this is for, I didn't tell you. This is for my internet. This is, well, I said what it was. What do you mean I didn't say what you it said was? It was a Jeff attack. It's a Wi-Fi repeater. I'm going to be able to get Wi-Fi. Jeff Attack has an older model of this, um, an older model. This is the newest model that they have. I forget the model number. Okay, but this is this is. I'll put a reference in the video. This is this is the latest model that they have. And with the older model, you had 
for this antenna, you had two options. You had option number one was a two foot, 24 inch antenna. And option number two was a five foot antenna. I was going to buy the older model with a two foot antenna, omnidirectional antenna. And the lady that I was talking to recommended that I get this newer model, which comes with a 13 inch, like this, 13 inch antenna, once it's put together. And this 13 inch antenna supposedly has the same range as the five foot antenna on the older models. And the range was more or less 5,000 feet. So I think I got a pretty good deal. And that's 5,000 feet line of sight. You can't have things in between, trucks, buildings, trees. So if I can get, if I can be on the other side of whatever Wi-Fi I'm using, Starbucks, for example, and, and the other side of the parking lot is a couple hundred feet away, I, that's pretty good. That's all I need. I don't need to be a mile away from Wi-Fi, but if I'm boondocking somewhere and there's Wi-Fi half a mile away, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. And when you have this antenna installed, it comes with this little protective thing here. You just pop that out and right in there, just connect the cable and then bring the cable back in into your transmitter. And this is the repeater. This is the actual repeater. This is just the antenna. So like, like I said, probably what I'll do is I'll just mount this permanently. And instead of drilling a hole through my roof, I will try using this by placing the antenna by my front windshield or by my side door by the window. And if it works that way, I don't have to draw any holes. If it doesn't work that way, I can always put put a mounting plate up on a roof to install the antenna. And I'll just bring the cable through the side door, through the, through the window, and just put it up there. And when I'm done, just bring it back in. I have to figure this out and put it together in my van. I don't think I'm going to mount anything permanently except for, for this unit right here. And this is the receiver. Oh, this comes off. Okay. So this receiver has two holes in there. I can screw this in, in a van somewhere. And then I just mount this like that. And it's mounted. And whenever I have to take it out, I just do that. And here goes the power. Here goes the cable for the antenna. And I think the other one, I can connect the 12 volt power. So we'll see what happens, see how it works. And uh, I can't wait to try it out. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be ashamed. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none of those who wait for you will be ashamed. For those who deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed. Make me know your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day. Psalms 25, 1, 5. Before I start working on my van, doing all the home improvements, van improvements, I'm gonna cook some breakfast here real, 
Oh, what the heck is this? Pink? What the heck is this skillet? That's what I'm talking about. All right, so quick breakfast before going to the store. And then I'm gonna start working on all that stuff in the van. I have a lot of stuff, not a lot of time to do it before I leave Florida. I'm set to leave.